in Ezekiel chapter 48, we have all kinds of details, dimensions, sizes, borders, boundaries for all the tribes of Israel and where they're to be located in this amazing new land. Now, one of the things that you find, and I'll just read a couple of verses. It says, now these are the names, verse one of the tribes, from the northern border along the road of Hethlon, at the entrance of Hamath, to Hazar, Inan, the border of Damascus, northward in the direction of Hamath, there shall be one section for Dan, from its east to its west, by the border of Dan, from the east side and the west side, one section for Asher, and he goes on and on and on, describing the different regions and borders for all the different tribes. But one of the significant things about Ezekiel chapter 48 is after giving all the details and the dimensions of the great city and describing the glory that'll be there, then Ezekiel, well, he concludes his prophecy by pointing out probably the best thing of the city, a name, a new name. The city will be called Yahweh Shama, the Hebrew name. And what it means is the Lord is there. And that is what gives the city its glory. Anywhere God is, that is where you want to be and I want to be. And so after describing all these details and the tribes and all this, there in the center is the temple where God's presence would dwell. And so he names it, the Lord is there. And what a powerful thing that all these people surround God's presence. He's in the middle. And it's a wonderful picture of how God wants to be there in your life, in the middle of it. He wants to be the center of it. And it's pictured for us in Ezekiel chapter 48 as he describes the nation of Israel, all the different tribes and people. And in some way, I think, that describes the world itself, that all the people that God's created and placed he wants to be in the middle of people's lives, that they might know him, that they might follow him, that they might receive grace and mercy from him. The Lord is there. And that's a wonderful thing to know, that he's there. You can go to him. You can find salvation from him. When you stumble and fall, there's forgiveness through him. The Lord is there. That's probably the most significant statement in all of Ezekiel 48. God's in the middle. He's there and the people can come to him because he has placed himself in our midst and in their midst.